The Ukrainian team, 14-year-old Irina Pegaina and 18-year-old Artem Koval. Second event, seventh in Czech skate. And they'll perform a tango and flamenco. Another strong showing for Irina Pagaina and Artem Koval from the Ukraine. Well, seven out of the eight key points they have a yes on, so that is very strong in that portion of the dance. It's unusual in the juniors. And having seen the team last year, knowing that they performed to Michael Jackson medley for the rhythm dance, just again showcasing such versatility and emotional maturity interpreting in interpreting different styles and that's the great thing about dance actually which, which you kind of would like to see in even the singles and pairs as well as the mandatory change of these rhythms and whatnot so you don't really see that they can do what they want but here every year there's a different rhythm which they have to figure out and learn they have to really research and, and understand and comprehend the different dance style that is selected by the ISU ice dance technical committee this the second section of the Argentine Tango, this mandatory steps for all of the teams. Argentine Tango, a compulsory dance, a patent dance, first created in 1934, Ted. So steps that are well known. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Pretty long time ago. And this, the midline step sequence for the team. Technical panel will be scrutinizing how many of the difficult turns are perceived to be clean as we see the twizzle, this or choreographic content to try to improve the judges' component scores. 
shortly we'll see some of the difficult turns forward inside counter and forward inside bracket as well before this the rotational lift difficult entry change of pose and when you mentioned perceived to be clean, it's interesting because that hit me when you said that. I'm going, yeah, to a degree, it's perception because they're watching live is one thing. Then they can look on the replay. But remembering that their eyes don't go on every angle of the rink. They only have the angle to look at or where they're in, where they're sitting. And, of course, the replay as well, which has only one location. So, um, Which is where choreographers can be perceptive. sometimes. Absolutely. A little we'll strategy. <laughs> yeah, a little strategy. Well, let's take a look at the rhythm dance scores for Arena and Artem from Ukraine. They posted a 55.13 in their first Junior Grand Prix at the Czech skate in Ostrava. And they've they got big spells right now, hoping to top that score. Very strong basics of this team. Great foundation as they move forward in juniors and in seniors in the future as they get a season's best at 57.67. They're going, wow, that's pretty good. I'm not sure they expected that, but they got it. And they'll take over first place, second team out in the competition.